Hello and welcome to another episode of Kim Schmidt's Brain. Today we're going to go over how to create a Microsoft Azure blob storage container. So let's now create an Azure blob storage instance. Again, to save time, you go to My Account, My Management Portal, I filter down to Storage, and click on New. So it's smart enough to know it's under Data Services, Storage, and there's one option, and that's because Azure uses Blob Storage by default, just like Amazon uses S3 Storage by default. So let's click Quick Create. Now I'm going to choose the name of the URL, and I'm going to call it the Blob 50. And notice that there is a wildcard in the path, which I'll explain about later on. Then you choose your location or affinity group, and I'm going to choose Eastern US, and out of the replication, I'm going to leave it geo-redundant, and then click on Create Storage Account. Now, I want to show you while this is spinning up that in contrast to uh, Amazon Storage that had that nice built-in drag-and-drop user interface, to put things in your storage, you have to download a third-party tool with Microsoft Azure. So you go, uh, you click on the, the instance of the virtual machine, you go to get the tools, click on Storage Explorers, and then on this page you scroll down a bit. My favorite happens to be Azure Storage Explorer, and you're taken to a site called CodePlex, and you simply, simply want to just download the file. Now, I've already done that. So let's return to our Azure portal. And the Blob 50 is already online. So let's highlight it and click on Manage Access Keys. So this is where creating a text document, again, is really handy. So I'm already have the storage account name, the blob50, even though it's all lowercase, and I'm going to click copy the primary access key, and I'm going to control V it. I'm going to click on the secondary access key, and I'm going to control V that, and then I'm going to hit save and minimize, and then click OK. So if I were to click on this, one thing I wanted to show you on the dashboard is the reason for that wildcard in the URL is that by default, when you get a blob storage on Azure, you also get a table and a queue. And if you look at the, the endpoints here, in between the blob50 and core.windows.net, is where the wildcard is. One says blob, one says table, one says queue. Now, tables and queues are out of the scope of this talk, so we're just gonna concentrate on the blob. So I'm going to click here to copy the endpoint, bring up my text document again, and control, control V it, and save it. So at this point, we have the endpoint, we have uh, two access keys and the name of the uh, storage account. So we need to click on containers because just like Amazon storage was uh, kept in buckets, Azure storage is within containers. And the reason that they do that is so that you can have nested containers or buckets and you can have granular, granular access control on each of those. So let's click on create a container and let's let's call this uh, let's call this for you the PIAA container. And we're going to make this a public container for this demo and click OK. So 
if I double click here, the container is empty. So now we are going to go to that third party tool, the Azure Storage Explorer, and we're going to say add account. And again, this is where our text document comes in handy. The storage account name is the blob 50. Bring up the text document because it's asking next about the storage account key. It wants your primary access key. And you need to be very careful not to add any white space to this. So once it's highlighted, you do control C to copy it and go back here and control V to paste it. You leave these endpoints because that was the endpoint for all three types of uh, blob, queue, and table. And then you're going to test the access. And the account access was successful. So then you click Save. And what that does is it adds the blob 50 to the list of all the other kinds of storage accounts I have. And here's the container I named for you. And when I click on that, this now is the drag and drop, well, upload, download interface for uh, Microsoft Azure storage. So I've saved an image on the desktop for you. So I'm going to navigate to that. And upload it. And it's going to show up right here. Now, this is this particular uh, application is on your work desk or at home. So let's uh, minimize this and go back to the Azure portal. So now when I click on the PIA container, it actually has that image that I just uploaded through that interface. And how we can confirm that yes, indeed, it is hosted in a blob storage container is by copying the URL going to a new tab and right clicking and say paste and go. So I want to pause here and let you read what's on the image, but I hope you realize that it might seem daunting at first to get started on the cloud, but what I've shown you here today, uh, compute, which are the virtual machines and storage, are the two major portions. So I would start there. I'd also start with a free account and play around. And then as you practice, you will learn how all the facets fit together. And then you'll learn exactly what you need in order to, uh, when you're ready to move your entire enterprise to the cloud. And you don't have to do that. You can just have some of it or use it as needed. But let's get that elephant out of the office because it doesn't belong there. It's not as scary as you think. Thank you for watching this episode of Kim Schmidt's Brain. You can always contact me for consulting at kimschmidt101 at gmail.com. Thank you.